I've made this graphic to describe um, how near liberalism and its doctrine of there is no alternative or Tina, Queen Tina, she who must be obeyed is how I've been referring to it the last week or so in my blog. Um, and this graphic uh, seeks or, or attempts to show how what we know as social democracy or the post Second World War sort of democratic consensus um, occupies a centre in an old uh, spectrum uh, between f far left dictatorship and far right dictatorship. Far right dictatorship, um, Adolf Hitler, Mussolini, <coughs> uh, Pinochet, uh, far left or communist dictatorships, Stalin, uh, Pol Pot, um, and uh, well, North Korea at the moment. <coughs> now, <coughs> then within those two far extremes, you have communism and uh, you have uh, corporate fascism leading to sort of outright fascism into dictatorship. Uh, and then within those two extremes, you then have socialism capitalism and a centre ground or mixed economy and um, within capitalism itself uh, maybe that would include something like uh, anarcho-capitalism possibly, uh, libertarianism certain, certainly uh, but also there's such a thing as libertarian communism um, and there is um, also uh, anarcho-syndicalism, um, direct democracy effectively. And so f from the far left of socialism uh, to the far right of capitalism, uh, there is democracy which falls within this broad term social democracy. And this uh, sort of mauve-coloured circle that you can see there uh, shows what the traditional understanding of the social democratic left through to the social democratic right is. So if you think of that as a, um, a sphere or a globe, um, outside of that you have the dictatorship um, idea which is sort of like a ring around the outside of that globe um, and that outer ground if you like uh, has a globalist neoliberal left and a globalist neoliberal right so when someone at the moment I hear when they regularly uh, refer to the left um, what I take them to be meaning is the global neoliberal left and they refer in that to people like say Hillary Clinton uh, or for me it would be someone like Tony Blair which is part of the authoritarian extreme left communist dictatorship uh, type of government top down and the same thing applies over here to the globalist neoliberal right. Now I've put both of these in, in pyramids, that's a bit sort of tongue-in-cheek. And in here I've put in the sort of all-seeing eye as well. Uh, and the, the pupil in the all-seeing eye is actually George Soros. Um, and I have placed Theresa May within that uh, uh, pyramid reporting to this oligarch up here. And I've got uh, Jean-Claude Claude Juncker and Tony Bear there here, again reporting to the same oligarchy. Um, and neoliberalism therefore occupies an orbit outside of the old um, idea of left and right, uh, which has its left and its right, 
Um, but the left and the right types of style of government are authoritarian, top down. Um, and it was often said in the past um, that, that communism and extreme fascist, fascism are the same thing, that they, they start off uh, but meet sort of in this outer space orbit of uh, really what we're tending to now. So what I've also done then to try and sort of bring that to life a bit more is to go back to the 2015 general election when Ed Miliband uh, was uh, basically Tory light. Uh, he ran on an austerity budget, a neoliberalist, neoliberal uh, way of doing things. And then these two guys here, Nick Clegg and uh, uh, David Cameron, formed a, a coalition government. Well, actually, that was back in 2010 they did that. Um, and uh, that was a neoliberal alliance. And Gordon Brown uh, in 2010 ran on a, you know, Blairism as usual, neoliberalism as well. There's Blair up here. So um, this outer ring here, you can see from the right, is joined up to the blue uh, globalist neoliberal right and this neoliberalism here um, in this uh, far lobe if you like joins up here and these pyramids uh, if you think of them as in intersecting and you have a four base pyramid or whatever uh, and the old idea of left and right and social democracy has been um, hollowed out uh, and uh, then this is what, 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 what we end up with. Now this was the first leaders debate uh, at which Theresa May and therefore Jeremy Corbyn didn't attend and looking at uh, the three people here, the two gentlemen, this is um, uh, the Lib Dem guy and this is Paul Nuttall, the UKIP guy, and they're essentially neoliberals. There's no doubt that the Lib Dem guy is, um, and he comes in sort of somewhere here in this sort of very authoritative capitalism, in my view. Uh, Paul Nuttall um, is arguably, in my view, to the left of this guy, and uh, he, he may be in the sort of libertarian part of capitalism where I think I would place Nigel Farage, is Nigel Farage down here um, and uh, so they're coming over here. Theresa May is effectively going for dictatorship, I mean she's almost like uh, uh, a Tory Oliver Cromwell uh, in, 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 in my uh, analysis here uh, and so where does that leave um, Jeremy Corbyn? Well, J Jeremy Corbyn is classic social democratic left, uh, favouring socialism, but also with a democratic respect for a, 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 a very centre uh, mixed economy, and uh, which does inc include capitalism and competition and. Uh, <laughs>